We have seen many Christian artists over the years that have either completely renounced their faith in Jesus Christ, calling themselves ex-evangelicals, or then there was those that embraced the rainbow lifestyle, including bands like Switchfoot, Reliant K, Kevin Max of DC Talk, along with many others. And now we could add another Christian artist to that list, Sarah Groves. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second, guys. Stick with me first if you could. If YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you were able to contribute with a generous donation to help my ministry, a couple different ways you can do that. One, you can help me with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless my ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. No signups yet, but I know, guys, with your help, we can make this happen. We've done it before. When you sign up to Patreon, you'll be alerted for all my content, unlike YT, which you're not going to get all the alerts. You can also leave all your comments over there completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking or moving what you guys are saying. You can even send me direct messages there. Or, hey, if you prefer, click the super thanks down below on this video. That'll open up a one-time donation prompt. Make your donation selection. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. And guys, if you want to know, you know, how did I go blind? What's my story? How do I even make these videos? Respond to your comments, all that. I have a video that explains my whole story in the description as well. So check it out. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So back in the early 2000s, Sarah Groves was an emerging Christian artist, CCM artist. She was named, you know, several times as, you know, she was an artist of the year. You know, nominee, her her album made, you know, a lot of headwaves in the early 2000s. Somebody that was looked upon as a rising star within Christian music. Nominated for several Dove Awards as well. And, well, in a now unearthed video clip. Sarah Groves, this was back in 2020. And I, and I got to tell you, because there are a lot of ties here to what I've been talking about recently about what's been going on with Pastor Andy Stanley at North Point Community Church and how he has come out as very rainbow affirming. I have done several videos exposing that. If you missed any of them, please go back on the channel and check them out. But in 2020, Sarah Groves was part of the Renibus, Renibus um, concert. This is an organization that is headed up by Brian Nitzel, who oddly enough, this is an organization, by the way, Renibus, that is rainbow affirming and well nitzel is closely tied to board members of stanley's north point community church nitzel too by the way married to another man and who is going to be a scheduled speaker at andy stanley's rainbow affirming conference it's coming up later in the year in september i've talked about these ministries how they work with parents to you know not try to get their kids to turn from the lifestyle, but instead openly embrace it, affirm it, look at it as a done deal. So in this clip, which I will put for you down below here in the description, Sarah Gross talks about the fact that, well, on her journey, her views have shifted as it comes to the rainbow community. In fact, she called herself a baby ally. Now you've often heard this phrase before, right? Being an ally of the rainbow community be an ally of us and being an ally of course means to affirm what they're doing not to show them the love of christ and get them to turn from what they're doing in their ways but no 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 be an ally affirm it bottom line a journey she said went from opposition to allyship opposition so basically what sarah groves is saying is that I once believed what the Bible said on this subject, but I no longer do because I want to be popular. I want people to like me, this and that. Oh, okay, like so many others. She goes on here in her story to talk about the fact that, well, she had someone that was very close to her and her family who came out as being in the rainbow lifestyle, and it made her think, you know, I have to be like Jesus. I have to love them and accept them for just the way they are, except God never made you to be that way. But Sarah Groves thinks otherwise. 
She goes on to talk about previous songs that she's come out with and how she can make ties to the whole thing and how it's a representation of how you can better be an ally towards those in the rainbow community. This got lots of applause from those in attendance. She got behind the piano, sang a little bit, and all the while delivering a word salad as to why God would be okay with this. Talked about her own pastor and how, you know, they, they're they okay with it. It's all right. We can all come to table. We're all welcome at God's table. You can't be at God's table if you are living in a lifestyle that he completely says is against what his word stands for. But yet these people don't care. You know, it's a lot like Amy Grant, who I talked about recently and how, I mean, she, I mean, she affirmed the rainbow lifestyle years ago, but how she just recently hosted her niece's rainbow wedding at her ranch. Wasn't that nice? Her and Vince Gill. Because God's all about love. These people have no idea what's to come if they don't repent. Christian music is, I mean, it, look, <laughs> There, I, I like to go to the old time songs, you know, those that were written way back in the day that didn't have any time. People who actually wanted to write songs because they truly cared about worshiping God. These artists today, I mean, it's it ain't nothing more than just secular music. It's just wrapped around with a, you know, a little Christian bow on it to make it look pretty, but it's not really Christian music. Let's just face it. We're going to continue to see more of this happening here, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible talks about there's going to be a great falling away that would take place right before the return of Christ. And that goes for those who are now ex-evangelicals and those that are now affirming the rainbow lifestyle and other things, by the way, that the Bible talks about to stay away from. Christ is coming back soon. I want you guys to take a look at that link in the description. You can watch that clip of Sarah Groves. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all my videos is end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on, but I do it because we are in the last days and we're trying to win souls for Christ with the short amount of time that we have left. So if you're somebody watching right now and you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below, as I mentioned. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys can help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons. Go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video. Select a donation from that. Leave a comment with it that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.